Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up for the video. I'm RJ. I hope you had a good weekend. We are back here on top of Mount Chiliad. If you have not seen the most recent discovery from the Chiliad mystery, it was something found inside of the mountain. In the final mission from the Doomsday DLC, we infiltrated a secret base, which is inside Mount Chiliad. Now, most likely that mission was supposed to be connected to the Chiliad mystery itself. Instead, there was robot clones inside, and there was new Chiliad murals. And we know that it's connected to the mystery because this mural that we can find on top of the mountain is inside of the yellow portion of the newest Chiliad mystery mural. So it's a huge discovery by the Chiliad mystery gurus. They found information inside the game data and traced it inside of the base. So it was mind-blowing stuff at the time, but the mystery continues. And I'm going to show you guys how the symbols from those murals have been found in the game already. So thanks again for joining up. Hit the like button, that is much appreciated. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it, my friends. Here are the new Chiliad murals. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them by now. If you haven't watched the last two episodes, you might want to check them out first. I'll have a link in the description. So there's a different color for each of the corners in that massive room found in the Doomsday Finale. There's a purple mural, a green, a red, and a yellow. The yellow is where you can find the original Chiliad mystery mural, and we just found two of these symbols hidden in that final mission. Now these circles are interesting because on the mural, you cannot see the full symbol, and this is basically Rockstar's way of giving us the full glimpse. I know it's not exactly easy to see because it's on the roof there and it blends in. If you think about it, GTA 5 is the only Grand Theft Auto game with lunar cycles, but there hasn't really been an Easter egg involved with that discovered quite yet. We probably haven't found it. And then you have these sound waves. What is this supposed to mean? Why else would Rockstar hide it here for us to find? They are trying to tell us that whatever these waves are, I don't know if it's sound waves, maybe representing an earthquake. The game does take place in California after all. San Andreas, that is supposed to be the virtual Cali. And California is well known for earthquakes. It would only be right for an earthquake to hit Grand Theft Auto V. Now you see how the waves and the circles were hidden in the mission and kind of uncovered more about the symbol. For example, the waves were cut in half. So it shows you that whatever this is, is repeating because this is just doubled. And then the circles you can see the entirety of, unlike here on the mural. So now we know it has something to do with the moons most likely. If you look to the right of it, if you look to the left of it, and over here on the other side of the mural, you can see more that has to do with moons. So I think something is missing there. Now, what is the other symbol that can be found in the game from the yellow mural? It is the eye, of course, and it's not that hard to find. There it is in the distance, the Panras building. It is the same color blue as the Epsilon, and if you go to the observatory, you can find a sniper. On the special edition map of Grand Theft Auto V, there's a hidden message at that location that says, Shoot for the stars, and it is pointing straight towards the Panras building. Inside the eye, you can see stars. You had the sniper at that location, of course, if you scramble the word Penrith, it makes up sniper. So it is no secret that the game is pointing us towards this building as the eye. And at a certain time, you can see how it has either a glitch or something odd going on where only two of the lights are illuminated. We got the blimp flying by. Check out the blimp. It has the atomic symbol, which can also be found on one of the murals. So I'll point that out shortly. Light up Penrith symbol. Anyways, to the left of it, you can see how big the eye symbol is. Well, you have this billboard that, to me, at least looks a little bit like the hidden circles from that mural as well. The Pendulous billboard. Is it pointing out a certain time? Maybe there's something to it considering Rockstar Games and everything else in Grand Theft Auto V. It wouldn't surprise me if this is connected to a mystery as well. Did you light up Penrith symbol? Get out of my way, traffic. Let's look at what time it is. It is just past 20. I think it lights up around 21, 22, something like that. But you can see how there's something going on over there with these lights. Do we have to shoot it with the sniper? Is there something going on with the stars? The Chiliad mystery continues through that yellow mural. There's a lot of circles with rotations. This one looks like it has a UFO in the middle. So you can see why I would think that clock or the watch might be connected. Almost anybody who's played Grand Theft Auto V has come into contact with the Infinite Eights. So at first you may think that the Infinite Eights are only straight up and down. You can definitely find some that are horizontal, just like the one found from that mural. They're everywhere, and it connects another big mystery from the game that basically has no conclusion into the newest Chiliad mystery mural. So let me know what you guys think about the Infinite Eight mystery, but it is clearly 
on that red section. Here it is, an 8 on its side. I mentioned how you can find the atomic symbol all around San Andreas. Well, at the northern end of the map, you can find a rocket ship. I know you guys have seen it before. On that rocket, it has the same atomic symbol. There's also one at the observatory on the obelisk at the front. If you look on the top and you actually look at it from the side, it makes up the atomic symbol. Trevor, I should also mention, wears a t-shirt with the atomic symbol as well as the nuclear symbol. Going back to that rocket, it makes off some very nuclear-like sound effects. I think it might be connected to that. I think all four of these may be unsolved. Getting to the green mural, this one seems more obvious. There's 27. That is the number of hidden plants, which is right there, that you need to transform into Bigfoot. If you go to the DNA strand right here, you can see the letters make up Bigfoot, and then there's the number 2 as well as 7 to make up 27. So Rockstar is definitely spelling it out for us. But once again, you can find one of these symbols in the game. This one right here, the transformation, is represented kind of in a funny way. There it is in the background. Do you see the billboard? It is a commercial billboard for toe shoes, which I think were invented by Ursula over on Mount Gordo. Anyways, you can see it looks exactly like the symbol from the green mural, run like a caveman. So even the Bigfoot mystery is represented in a very strange way. Of course, you're going to know about this billboard. You're going to drive by it long before you figure out how to transform into Bigfoot. Not to mention, sometimes when you switch it over to Trevor, he is throwing one of the members of the Lost off of this bridge. So it's weird how the game kind of spawns you in areas next to these symbols. Very strange, guys. What is this symbol right here? Is this another strawberry? There's strawberries hidden all over the map, and there's an area in Los Santos called Strawberry. Could it be a clue? Davis Le Santos? The purple mural is the one that I find the most intriguing, but honestly, we have found a lot of these hidden throughout the game. It has another eye. This can be found on the Dr. Friedlander website. We've talked a lot about mazes before even finding this mural. You got the scales, which probably represents karma, balance, the lightning bolt from the original Chiliad mystery. It is definitely pointing out brains or knowledge. You got the keyhole. This can be found underneath the prize statues that you get when completing the Doomsday DLC. But the one that I want to talk about, of course, is the Yin Yang because that is the one that Rockstar hid deeply into the game. It's not something that they want you to find unless you are looking for it. And the Hidden Yin Yang is one of my favorite symbols. Let me show you guys where it is. Most likely you already know, but again, it proves that these things are hidden and meant to be found. We are at a random mansion. Oddly enough, it is located at West Eclipse Boulevard. Could that be another clue telling us something about the eclipse and the moon? Possibly, but the mansion looks pretty inconspicuous until you take a closer look and you can see the hidden yin yang in the front lawn. That is pretty awesome. I wish I had a mansion with a yin yang in the front yard. Maybe one day, but that is not the only hidden yin yang in the game. There's another one that is even better. Make sure to let me know, guys, if you found any of the symbols from the new Chiliad Mystery Mural. Definitely let me know. Hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs or just drop a comment. Here is the second yin yang. At first, you may think it's just a random little hut in the middle of the city, but really it is meant to be an epic yin yang from the bird's eye view. There's more yin yangs. You can find one at the alien hippie camp, and that seems to point out karma, maybe balance. But let me know what you guys think. The new Chiliad mystery mural needs to be solved. Remember that most likely it will be in GTA Online. So here I am with Trevor. That's not going to work. We got to change it over to Virtual Trippy and work together. We have an online mystery hunting session planned for this week. It'll be on the PS4. Tomorrow I'm going to have a brand new GTA 5 mystery episode covering an unusual location here in San Andreas. And then we are going to investigate it live. If Rockstar is going to have any other Easter eggs to find, it will definitely be an online. They're making way too much money with the Shark Guards to put something new in single player. But if you think about it, we found the UFOs. We basically found everything in single player. So if there's anything left, it's going to be in online mode. And the location that we're going to investigate on Wednesday, I think there's something left with. We've already found a mystery and uncovered it at that location in both single player and and in online. It's one of those locations where they've definitely transferred over the Easter egg already, but I'll cover it in tomorrow's episode. Hit the notification button so that you don't miss it. Much love, guys. Thanks for checking out the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. That is appreciated. Stay tuned, 
here at Trippy Commentaries. And stay trippy, my friends.